Okay, fuckers and fuckettes, now this is with all of the lights on. Um, I'm going to rig up my uh, moon lights later on today. I've got them rigged, I just don't have the power supply rigged. But, uh, this uh, new evolution light, the pulsing zinnias, are doing pretty good. These are under the 14K in the Kessel, they're doing pretty good. Um, and obviously the light lays over from both sides to each other, but um, the shrooms seem to like the 14K in the Kessel by themselves. The waving hands don't do so good under the 14K in the Kessel. Um, the waving hands do pretty good under the evolution, um, especially those back there. Um, my fricadas, Calustria fricata, peppermint corals, candy cane corals, whatever you want to call them, they seem to like the 14K over this way better than um, this group. I mean, they were swelled out beautifully, beautifully yesterday. Um, they don't seem to like the extra light. I mean, obviously, they usually come out later in the day, but usually by this time it's been about a half hour usually they're out just as puffy as these so I'll have to move those. I moved um, the bleached Elkhorn that I picked up um, under this light and his polyps are coming out like crazy um, so it definitely likes this light better and somebody had commented on the other video, I don't know what part of um, buying injureds on purpose um, he didn't understand. My little yellow polyps are out and doing pretty good. Um, and that piece of encrusting whatever that's on that... Uh, uh, it's on that piece of tonga branch I laid across there. He's actually changed and appears to have some polyps starting to come out. Um, he was completely white yesterday, so obviously it's working good for that. Um, my Nephthia actually, he's, when the whites are on with this one, he's small, but usually he doesn't come out till late afternoon anyway. And my acans keep getting disturbed by the crab next to him, but they actually looked better under the blue. Like I say, this is an experiment. This isn't uh, written in stone that this is what I'm going to run or anything like that. I'm just trying to see um, what can be healed and what can't be and which does better under which LED lights. Um, I played with the metal halides years ago. Um, these guys were, they're a little bit skinny, but the ones on the bottom are. The ones on top are doing really well. They seem to like the 14K in the Kessel. But uh, these guys seem to like the new light, even though they're staying down and squat and fat. Um, they're actually leaning over towards the new light, as are these. I mean, the angle, they are actually grasping towards the new light. Um, yeah, my crabs disturbed some of those zoes, so they're not out right now. I got like 25 hermits in here. Plants-wise, I mean, again, there's been noticeable growth just from the time that the blues came on this morning. Um, I'm going to end up taking out this stream of plants. That guy seems to be doing pretty good. And this is more notes to self than anything else. I bought this guy injured and I can't get the camera because of the size of the light up there, but um, his heads look pretty good. I might be able to get it from the top. Uh, nah. Definitely seeing the star polyps come out some more. Mm. 
and more of them. Money's starting to pop out, which I like. And now I had gotten that one, it was mostly bleach because it was in the guy's live rock tank under a bunch of other stuff, and he only had some little T5s, or no, T8s, over the top of it. But it's starting to polyp out. It'll be interesting to see if it actually heals and recovers. The little zoeys are doing really, really good down there. And again, I've noticed the zoeys. Um, they were perfectly straight up yesterday, um, aiming when I had the marine land in the castle. And now they're leaning over towards the new one. Um, these zoeys, eh, they, one of them seems to be leaning over, but he always does. The other one's just kind of, and the little Martian coral is doing really well. And one uh, leather that I've got back there, all by himself back there. He's been a sunken blob when I hit the marine land um, in the castle above here, and now he's doing really good. Um, this is probably the longest I've seen his polyps in the month that I've had him. These little zoeys are doing really good. So this other one's back there. If that crab would ever get away from those other zoeys, they look pretty good too. Under there looks really eh, not really good, but a lot better than he did yesterday. Um, this cluster here, um, it's been picked on. I had to get that one shrimp out of here, um, but it's doing a lot better than it was. Love those little yellow polyps. And these those back here. Are the same species as these. Well, I mean, Zoe's a Zoe, but they were all off the same parent colony. Um, and these don't seem to like the new light, whereas these. seem to be doing quite well. And that's. they're just liking the Kessel and the 14K. Sort of straight radions back there. He's definitely puffed out more than he was. Now he's in a position where he's getting light from everything, so you can't tell really what he's up to. Sponge has all kinds of mouths open on it that he usually had, you know, seven or eight mouths open. He's got, he's doing a lot better today than he was yesterday, so the yesterday's light and Whites have been on half hour, 45 minutes this morning. Um, but definitely doing better. These little peppermints, I don't know if it, maybe the crab bumped up against them and disturbed them, I don't know. Waving hands definitely seem to be doing better. And that guy I bought injured, he's actually He's actually doing a lot better under this light today than he was under the um, other setup. And the elkhorn just popped right out there. And polyps are just crawling and crawling, I like that. So we're finding out that the evolution light is really good for some and a little bit too much for others. And you know, then again it might just take a couple of days for him to adjust because it is going from relatively low light to a really nice and powerful one. And if I stand back a little bit, the difference between the new one, that's a Kessel 150 and a 2X generic. 14k. Everything's on 400 cycle power, 115 volts, instead of 60 cycle power at 115 volts. And like I said in the other video, that's just um, I'm using an aircraft power inverter, and I've modified my power supplies. 
Um, so it seems to be done. And there's a big difference between the amount of light output. So this one might be a little bit too much light. But anyway, like I say, it's more notes to self than anything else, but it is kind of cool shit to look at. Now those waving hands are a little bit in, but those waving hands are way, way fatter today than they were yesterday and out more. As are those back in the back. Um, and Fabio, he actually has some shape and some eyes in him now, so that's a good thing. Uh, my egg hands, you know, the crabs have been messing with him again all morning. I stuck one little piece of money off of a dip, monopora, off of a different um, batch than this down there just to see and it hasn't popped out yet. It's only been in there a couple hours though. And big money. It seems to be doing pretty good and the white that was around the edges has gone away literally in the past 24 hours. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how well it does. Alright. Those guys are sort of coming out. These blue legs go over and kind of disturb everything. I'm good with that though. Alright, we'll holler at Chow Fuckers and Fuckheads later. Cool shit to look at.